Welcome to our introduction to Merge Sort. We'll explore its core principles, practical implementation in Python, and discuss its strengths and limitations. Let's get started. Merge Sort uses divide and conquer to efficiently sort arrays. Divide and conquer involves breaking a problem into smaller, manageable subproblems, solving each independently, and then merging the solutions to solve the original problem. For merge sort, this means recursively splitting the array until each subarray has a single element, then merging these sorted elements back together. The time complexity is O of n log n, which makes it effective for sorting large datasets. Additionally, merge sort is stable, preserving the relative order of equal elements. Consider the example array, 38, 27, 43, 3, 9, 82, 10. Initially, it's split into 38, 27, 43, and 3, 9, 82, 10. Further splits yield 38, 27, 43, 3, 9, 82, 10. During the merge phase, these single elements combine to form sorted subarrays, 27, 38, 43, and 3, 9, 10, 82. Finally, merging these results in 3, 9, 10, 27, 38, 43, 82. The approach ensures an efficient sorting process by organizing data into manageable parts. The key to recursive splitting is dividing the original array into two smaller subarrays repeatedly. For instance, the array 38, 27, 43, 3, 9, 82, 10 splits into 38, 27, 43, and 3, 9, 82, 10. Further splitting continues until single element arrays are achieved. The base case in merge sort is when you have single element arrays, which are inherently sorted. Recognizing this is crucial, as these elements will be the foundation for the subsequent merge phase. A common mistake is incorrect midpoint calculation, leading to uneven halves and reduced efficiency. Properly calculating the midpoint ensures balanced subarrays, which is critical to the algorithm's performance. For example, for an array of seven elements, the correct midpoint is found using integer division of 7 by 2, yielding 3. This accuracy in splitting is essential for maintaining merge sorts efficiency. The merging process is essential. Compare the first elements of each subarray and insert the smaller one into the merged array. Next, move the pointer in the subarray with the smaller element to its next position. Continue this comparison and insertion process until all elements from both subarrays are added to the merged array. Maintaining the order of equal elements preserves the sort's stability. For illustration, consider arrays A equals 1, 3, 5, and B equals 2, 4, 6. First, compare 1 and 2. Since 1 is smaller, it goes into the merged array. Next, compare 3 and 2. 2 is smaller and gets inserted next. Continue this process and the final merged array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This method ensures an ordered, stable merged array. The key to merge sort lies in its core functions. The merge sort function recursively breaks down the array until subarrays have just one element. This highlights the divide and conquer strategy we previously reviewed. The merge function then integrates these subarrays into a single sorted array. The code initiates by checking if the array length exceeds one, designates the midpoint, and splits the array accordingly. Each half undergoes a recursive merge sort call. Consider the initial array, 38, 27, 43, 3, 9, 82, 10. The function methodically sorts it to 3, 9, 10, 27, 38, 43, 82. This example demonstrates the transformation from unsorted to sorted. Flexibility is a strength here, as the array size can change without affecting the function. However, for large datasets, memory constraints due to recursive depth could pose issues. This makes understanding both advantages and limitations crucial to efficient implementation. Divide, solve, and merge. These are the foundational steps of merge sort. It efficiently sorts arrays with a time complexity of O log of n, preserving the relative order of equal elements. This makes it especially useful for large datasets. However, merge sort has limitations. It is not an in-place algorithm, meaning it requires additional memory proportional to the array size. This higher memory usage can be a drawback. Despite this, merge sort stability and efficiency lend themselves to practical applications requiring careful data handling. 
It excels in systems where maintaining the order of equal elements and handling large data sets efficiently is crucial, such as databases and financial analysis tools. In summary, Merge Sort strikes a balance between stability and efficiency, making it suitable for complex real-world problems, despite its higher memory requirements. The practical applications strongly outweigh its limitations, proving its indispensability in various domains.